Hello, I am Barberway, and today I am going to show you how to create this shulker box loader. Now this thing is really cool, alright? First of all, it's tileable. You can stack them next to each other, and you know, no bad things will happen. It'll work as intended. And it's pretty compact compared to most designs for shulker box loaders, and you can add on several things to it to make it even better. Like, already the, the central bit, the bit that actually puts the things in the shulker box, is really useful, but the rest of it makes it even better. So, I'm going to show you how to build this. So, it doesn't require that many resources. I mean, it's pretty... There are a lot of things in here, a lot of dispensers, a lot of hoppers, but assuming you have an iron farm and someone to get lots of redstone, it shouldn't be too hard to build. So, you want to start with the uh, chest or barrel that you want your filled shulker boxes to end up in. You want to have a hopper coming off of that. You have a dispenser facing upwards. This will actually dispense the shulker boxes. And then under that dispenser, you want a dropper also facing upwards. Behind this, you want two solid blocks, and you want a piston, and then an observer facing downwards like this. So the shulker box is going to be right here. And you want, of course, the hoppers that will actually put the things in the shulker box. You want one right here, one right here, and one right here facing either this way or this way. You don't want it facing to the side, you don't want it facing down. So then behind that you want to have a block and another block here so you can place a comparator right here that reads this hopper. And then you want to have a block at the end of this and put a redstone dust on top of it. And you want another block up here, and another block down here, and another one down here to make like a diagonal thing and you want redstone dust on top of all these. Then you want a block here, and a repeater, and you want to grab a barrel and put it right here. And you feed all the, your items into this barrel to be, get put in the shulker box. So down here, you're going to need a uh, repeater right here, and a sticky piston facing up, and then another repeater. This time you want to left click on it three times, get to the maximum delay. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, this, this repeater needs to be on top of a non-solid block for reasons that will become apparent shortly. So this is the basic unit of the shulker box loader. It's pretty compact and it's tileable and all that and you feed things in here, if you put shulker boxes in these two dispensers and you get full shulker boxes over here. Uh, one other good thing about this is if you have multiple types of items, like if you have a spider farm and it's producing both string and spider eyes, that's fine. It's not going to clog up the system at all. You're going to get both your string and spider eyes through. A lot of loaders like this, they kind of break when you have more than one type of item, but not this one. This one works perfectly at all times. So this thing is already pretty cool, but you can make it better. First of all, if you want to store things in it or have it connected to a farm, you can add two hoppers here and then have a barrel two blocks above this barrel or three blocks, whatever, and have another hopper here. And instead, you feed your items in through this hopper. It's got a little bit better because this hopper or this barrel will fill up before it starts filling the shulker boxes. So, if you need a full shulker box of whatever item you're storing in this, then you can do that. You can get one here. But if you only need less than that, you can just get it from this barrel and not have to worry about, you know, placing the shelter box, opening it up, putting it back, whatever. So cool. Now to make this better, even better, um, you can add a sorter to it. So you can use it as in your storage system or whatever, sorting items that you have a lot of or poke it up to a farm and put all the things you farm into shelter boxes. And if you can just, you know, add a sorter to the top of that, they're pretty easy to build. You can find them everywhere. And add one to the top of this thing. You just need four hoppers facing this way, or that way, just not to the side. And you want a block on the third one, then a comparator up here. And then you want a couple blocks like this. You want to put three redstone dust, redstone repeater, and a redstone torch right here. And that'll work beautifully. And then, of course, 
up here you just want your line of hoppers or it can be going the other way that'll just take your items and any item that's the correct type of item that you put in here will be will go down so to fill this thing up you need five filter items I like to use spider eyes because not really useful in other things although if you have a spider farm you probably don't want to use spider eyes for this um, put your thing there and then whatever you're loading into shulker boxes let's say uh, sugar cane that goes right here and it'll start going down until there are like 40 I think left or somewhere around there um, 41 left and then it'll only let sugarcane into this hopper to go down to the rest of the system and you see it's ended up in this barrel okay this is pretty good the one other thing is that you need to continually refill this with shulker boxes to resolve that you might want to consider having an auto shulker box refilling station or if you're too lazy to do that or don't feel like that you know that's warranted but you still want something you can just have like a uh, redstone lamp over here so when you have your lamp here it will just mean that when it's not lit up you don't have enough shulker boxes and these droppers I nearly forgot they were, what they were called there uh, but you don't want to be lazy and just have a lamp there or nothing and you feel like you do want to have it automatically refill um, here's how to make the auto refilling bit so you have three droppers underneath here and you have a another dropper here it doesn't matter which way this one's facing these three have to be facing up this one could be facing anyway because it's not gonna actually be putting anything in anything then you want an observer facing this way or I guess the face is on this side but it's pointing this way and then you want another one down here and then you want a dropper here remember also this one doesn't matter which way it's facing and then and another one right here and then you get your hoppers you want one two and three doesn't matter which way that well it does you can be facing this way or this way but not to the side and these two these these two have to face this and you put a comparator right here you have an observer on the back of this uh, hopper and then you have a piston and a redstone block and a you know you have this line of redstone along here connected to well you know one block away from all your redstone blocks here and when this and when this comparator is not receiving a signal you want the redstone block to be here so you need to place the redstone block here to start with then you want yourself a line of hoppers again you know going over all the these things all you know around all your uh, all your modules of this and that doesn't this is where the uh, shulker boxes come in now uh, so the best way to do it and the reason we have this redstone thing is you have the uh, this line you know say you have X number of shulker box uh, loaders modules you just have it come around here you know go over all of them then at the ends you know beyond the last one on each side it loops around and so whenever there's a redstone signal here what that will do is you have a uh, redstone torch here uh, no that won't work uh, whenever there's the redstone signal here you've got um, you know beyond the last one you've got a uh, block of redstone block with redstone on it I should say and a redstone torch here and then you just have a like this that should have it like this you have a barrel here and this is where all your shulker boxes whenever you replenish your shulker boxes they come from this barrel here and you know they just get cycled around until there is no need for any more because at that point all these redstone blocks will be here meaning all these are stocked up so the shulker boxes will stop cycling around the circle preventing lag I hope that made sense it's a bit complex just do this and make it wider enough to fit every one of these in. and that's it that's basically it this is the machine that does everything shulker box filling related 
and it's pretty cool. If you enjoyed, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, put them in the comments and I will diligently answer them. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. Subscribe if you didn't like it. Uh, goodbye.